You are watching Market Watch, the brief overview of the key events from the world of finance. It is difficult to call today a full-fledged trading day in the United States, as many still celebrate Independence Day while continuing to enjoy their holidays. But at the same time, the so-called drama is actively unfolding around the candidacy of the current U.S. president to try to run for a second term. This is really a drama, which by and large is the first round of elections. After all, if Joe Biden withdraws his candidacy, then the stronger candidate from the Democratic Party will have enough time to enter this race. Judging by the market reaction, investors are starting to prepare for this scenario. This is very clearly seen in the reaction of the cryptocurrency market. Recall that Donald Trump is a supporter of cryptocurrencies, therefore reducing the probability of his victory is a bearish fundamental factor for Bitcoin. That is why the change of the Democratic candidate may put pressure on the cryptocurrency market. At the same time, the main driver for sellers remains the banal increase in supply, which is due to the unfreezing of cryptocurrencies by about 8 billion US dollars. Also, the confiscated bitcoins, the governments of the United States and Germany, in the amount of $75 million, were transferred to the exchange, thereby increasing liquidity. If the main reasons why the cryptocurrency market is flooded with scarlet are correctly identified, then it is unlikely that the collapse will be very deep, although it may well become prolonged in time. It's not that the cryptocurrency market will decline slowly for a long time, but rather that Bitcoin may form another sideways well below historical highs. After all, in order to develop a strong enough growth wave to update the previous record, a really strong growth driver is needed. For example, the victory of Donald Trump in the US presidential election. And in conclusion, let's talk about oil, which is still holding near the May high. It is noteworthy that for a significant part of June, oil quotes grew, slowly, but grew. There are problems in the Middle East, and the beginning of the summer holiday season in the United States, and of course another wave of optimism about the Fed's willingness to lower its key interest rate. But please note that the demand for American-grade WTI oil above $84 per barrel remains weak. This mark is a technical resistance level formed in early May of this year. Therefore, only fixing the price above $85 will allow us to talk about the willingness of buyers to continue growing. Until then, there is a risk of a decline in oil prices. That's all I have. Follow the news carefully and be prepared for all the surprises of the market.